Welcome back to uh, the Mega Man 1 LP when I'm gonna uh, destroy Ice, Fire, and Bomb Man. So, um, of, of, the, of the six original Robot Masters, uh, what would you say, who would you say is your favorite? Just in terms of, like, their personality. Mostly because of the TV show, I like Cut Man. <laughs> <laughs> I've always been a fan of Kung Fu Cut Man! Cut Man was great in the <laughs> Ruby Spears cartoon. I was I was gonna say Cutman, but because of the Archie comic, the Archie book, yeah, because he just does puns all the time. I just love the idea of a guy with scissors for a head. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I also love the fact that he had like, because in that show that they gave Doctor Whitey like a like a really weird yeah, human he, accent. Yeah, they, they and, gave him and, the and... weirdest accent. It was like fake German. <laughs> But what's weird is that, like, it's like, Cutman has, like, the same voice, kind of. It's like, what? I, I still don't know what accent. But my, my favorite thing about the, um, the Mega Man cartoon is in the... or well, my two favorite things about that. In, uh, on the Mega Man Anniversary Collection, they include they included the first episode. Oh, yeah. Um, and there's a moment in that where um, they... they uh, which is kind of, kind of a nice thing. They kind of try to make Ro have Ro more of an active part in, like, you know, saving the day so wasn't just getting kidnapped all, all the time. But in, her weapons are, like, a blender and a vacuum cleaner, <laughs> which is kind of like, uh, uh, no. But um, my, fa my, my favorite thing in that whole cartoon is in the first episode, there's a moment where Proto Man, where it just goes, I'm as good or better than Mega Man. <laughs> it's like the fucking, like, it's like the worst thing to say to pick is I'm as good or better. I don't know, one of the other. <laughs> <laughs> what version of the anniversary collection did you have? That's the PlayStation 2 one. Okay, because the Xbox version had the first episode of uh, NT Warrior. Yeah. That <laughs> sucks. All three versions had a different one, because, like, the GameCube version had the G4 show icons that did a special on Mega Man, so that was on the GameCube version. Uh, the Xbox had NT Warrior, and the PlayStation 2 had the Ruby Spears cartoon. Yeah, that, so, so that's why I didn't see it, because I have the Xbox version. Yeah, which really, like, the Ruby Spear one is the only one that you would want to have for that. Yeah. Like, why, why the hell would you want to have any... Unless, unless they put on, like, a sub-version of the old um, Japanese OVAs. Those are those are charming. Those are charming as fuck. Did, did any of them have Fail. the original... <laughs> did anyone have the original... Uh... Oh. Did any of them have the original, like, the uh, concept uh, intro? No, unfortunately, no. Uh, the Xbox had the con had the interview with Inafune about the concept interview, I believe. Mm. What is this <laughs> dank ass music? Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. That's that's how I feel every, every time I use anything like uh, the magnet beam, like item two, just to like pass over doing any actual platforming. I like, I don't fucking need this shit in my game. I ain't gonna do jack shit. <laughs> I'm a white boy from suburban Canada. I've never been gangster <laughs> in my life. But Clement, but Clement, using using the magnet beam can help you feel gangster. <laughs> this uh, is the only time in the series they've ever used double doors, I believe. Yeah, and I think um, I think this is also the only one where the doors don't just take you in. Like there's there's you know, little platform sections within the doors. Yeah, I think I think after one they just you know there's just that the little tiny hallway and then you get to uh get to fight your boss. Ice Man's a little punk man. He get taken out so easily. Damn, he, he's in love. He... <laughs> you can't. The screen locks you after you defeat him, so you have to take them and take that hit. That's bullshit. <laughs> That's absolute bullshit. It's I've fair. had many a death where I died as I killed them. So yes, I know, right? It's a complete bollocks. Yup, it is horseshit. You you killed him first, but he killed you better. <laughs> he killed, uh, he didn't kill me, Stefan. Check your privilege. He destroyed he you. He just knocked me back. He, he he took my spirit. He did not take my body. You just blew up the body and then took his IC chip. Yeah, he didn't need it. Fuck it. We could rebuild him. It's okay. Do Doctor Light has infinite amount of money, apparently. I also like the fact that I know, I know like he, he's an Ice Man. He's kind of dressed like an Eskimo, but like. Why, why would the robot really need, like, a fur coat for, you know? <laughs> like, I, 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 I mean, Dr. Light has, Dr. Light's robots have had some weird designs. I mean, one of my favorite things is still from the, um, 
that terrible fan film where Dr. Light programs... <laughs> there's, a, there's a line where he says that, I don't know why, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here, I'm wasting time and energy just to get hit seven more times. Um, but there's a line in that where Dr. Light says that rock and roll, they're programmed to feel hunger, but they don't need to eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You sadistic freak! You're both programmed to feel hunger. WHY THE FUCK WOULD YOU DO THAT FOR?! WHY?! That's... it's cruel as shit. Although it's, it's interesting, because of all the games, only 1, 3, and 9 were created by Light. Uh, Yeah. Because two, 2 are Wily, 4 are, um... Cossack. Cossack. 5 are Wily. 5 turn out... 5 are Wily, you know, first Proto Man, then Wily, 6 are Wily, 7 are Wily... 6, no, six, six are not Wily, 6 are the World Robot Tournament. Yeah, 6, six are everyone around the world. Um, 7 are Wily. Seven are Wily, eight are Wily, yeah, nine are Light, and is, is, is ten Wily again? Yes. Ten is Roboenza. Yes. But it's, <laughs> some, some of them are Wily, I think it's just assumed some of them are Wily. Uh, I just got the impression that, like, because of all the robots caught Roboenza, Wily just sort of snatched them and used them for his own purposes, but... Yeah. Yeah. One thing I like about Mega Man 1, which is I'm, I'm exploiting here, which I believe they take out of all the sequels with, like, uh, Health will respawn. So if you get to a point like that, you can just go up and down, up and down. To yeah. Reveal, which, which yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure they cut that out of all the sequels, which is, you know, enemies will respawn, but hope won't respawn. That's bullshit, Inafune. It's really helpful for the Wily Castle, because if you run out of Magnet Beam to get to the Yellow Devil, you can just keep going back down the, the, uh, the ladder, and there's going to be weapon yeah. energy at the bottom of the ladder. So pro tip, don't kill yourself. Get weapon energy. Yep, yeah, don't, don't kill yourself. It's really funny because the, the, the health bar and the uh, power bar keep uh, glitching out, so it looks like you got, like, no health left. It's, yep. it's Sprite Flicker. Yeah. Which, again, why... I am ashamed, why, why ashamed. Of I, I'm ashamed of myself as well, Clement. I really am. <laughs> um, it's, it's just like, again, it's th things like the Sprite <laughs> Flicker. Why... Why couldn't they fix that? <laughs> The sprite flicker is like the sprite flicker kind of makes certain sections not unplayable, but just really annoying. You know. Dear I love plumber, this. <laughs> the and I have taken over the mushroom kingdom. I just want to say, has anyone seen that video where apparently like the original voice actors from Mario oh, yeah. RPG? That was amazing. This cutscene, and it's just them like, "What the fuck is this shit?" <laughs> Koopa, I'm gonna go to some hotels. I don't give a fuck. Do you know what Your it gaze. is? <laughs> and you gotta help us. <laughs> Why the exorcist? Not take this planet for granted. I do not take. Because I don't take it for granted. granted. Thank you so very much. Again, the, the reason I put that—that is—that is a—that is, a, that is a hashtag deep cut reference. Years ago, I uploaded a video for some reason set to sewer surfing from Turtles in Time, when it was just just a bunch of random like clips. Most of it was just from the Exorcist, and I showed TJ, and TJ thought that footage of the draw coming open and going back in TJ just like couldn't stop like breathing from laughing at that so I put it in I'm, I'm hoping to kill him by putting it in this LP again <laughs> you're hoping to kill him with laughter I'm hoping to kill him with laughter if that, if that doesn't work I'll just stab him to death so the Joker method <laughs> <laughs> if that doesn't work just cripple him see I I, I never really liked fireman stage Nope, it's it's dick. I will say, I will say, it is probably visually, it is probably the best looking level in the game because a lot of a lot of the backgrounds in Mega Man One are just a flat color, like um, like Mega Man. A lot of that is just just like a a blue screen. So I like the fact that you know Mega Man has all this moving fire and some nice paneling design in the background. But in terms of its actual level design, I think it's, it's boring. Most, it's it's well, it's it's cheap as fuck. Because like so many sections, they, they they bombard you with enemies, and those sections where like the um the flames are going up and down. That shit is sometimes like you can't dodge that, and I hate shit like that in, in, in any type of video game where you kind of you kind of have to take a hit to get by. It's, yeah. it's very bad level design. And as I'm looking, what the fuck am I doing here? Uh, you're trying to grind health because oh, fire okay. fireman can fucking what is it three shot you? Yeah, you know what? I, I, I forgot. I actually asked Ryan to edit this part for me. That's why. That's why. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Points. 
It's been exactly. like six Ryan. years. Uh, it's been like six years. <laughs> He's like, shut the fuck up. Speaking of points, how about that point system that exists? You know that that exists in Powered Up too. Yeah. Yeah, which I, I I'm gonna assume it was that was just there because you know video, video games before this they were like you know there were things like Asteroid and Donkey Kong where you would just try and get like more points. So I'm sure that was put in there just so I'm sure say on like on my first run I got a million points to see if I can get more than that type of thing. Yeah, like back in the day, uh, video games Seven were like out of 10, early. Too much fail. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> video games were like ports of arcade games. So, mm. and Mega Man initially started out as an arcade cabinet. Oh, yeah. Oh, did it? Oh, I didn't know that. So, that's why it has the point system and why every game afterwards does not. That's cool. I mean, I saw, I, 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 I can't remember if this was the first game to do it. But obviously, the fact that it lets you choose the level order you do was either... That this was either the start of it or one of the very first. I believe I, I can't remember if it was the first, but I do know it was one of the first to give you that yeah. choice. Because before then it was all start at World One One. Oh God, where'd Mega Man go? Yeah, no, right. <laughs> it was definitely one of the selling points of Mega Man, from what I remember in interviews. I think Fireman is my the my least favorite boss, because his it like. As far as I'm aware, I mean, I'm sure people who played it more will, will, will know more. But like to me, there's just no there's no pattern to his fire. It just covers the fucking screen, and then you're stuck, just getting hit by fire. There's there is a pattern to Fireman. I just I always forget it. I always just like constantly spam the ice slasher and just go on yep. with it. But I know there's a way. There's a very specific way to jump where the flames will go away just as you land, and then you can just keep shooting and jump and shooting and jump, and you'll be fine. And but. And that is why you guys forget his pattern is because uh, whenever you shoot a Fireman with Icicle Slasher, he sporadically starts firing the Firestorm. Oh, that's, that's true, too. That's, that's the thing. That's, is that's it, his, his pattern becomes random when you hit him with his weakness. It was to prevent the like cheap tactics of like hitting him. With, it's pretty much a preform of not having Sunlock. Okay. Huh. So, so, the, so I, I, I got Kerry... The uh, Legacy Collection on on uh, 3DS, and when she was playing this level, she said, "And this is why I love this woman." She said, "Those those enemies, they look like they look like flower dick shooting cum." Yep. And I was like, <laughs> "Can't argue with that. Can't argue with that." <laughs> nope. I've seen some people call them side nipples. <laughs> so that's... Who do you know with nipples that long? Eggman in 06. True. <laughs> But those were very wide, too. Even as a kid thinking, I, I was thinking, you know, like, you, you get to a Sniper Joe and it's like, Dr. Light, can you can you make me a shield, maybe? It, se it, seems to, it seems to be pretty effective with my fucking shield. And then he gave Proto Man a shield. Well, technically, he gave Proto Man a shield first. Yeah. Proto Man predates Mega Man Stefan. Yeah, dude. What the like, hell? Did I forget? Did he have the shield? Did he have the shield before he went to be? To where, did he have the shield before he became Breakman? Or he's always had the shield. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. He borrows it in Mega Man Seven. You can have a shield then, but then he gives it back in Round Eight. So. Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, Pro Proto Man says you need it more than I do, and then in, in Mega Man Eight, he's like, nope, I need it back now. <laughs> <laughs> This game, this game's pisses. You'll need my shield. Give it back. <laughs> Ooh, you almost fell an instant death. I know, right? Uh, what? That's, that, that's also one other thing in terms of the difficulty. I, I, as far as I'm aware, I'm making a game. Could be wrong. I'm wrong about, about most things, but I believe Mega Man One. They offers you no um, invincible frames if you get hit. If you get hit and fall on spikes, you just die instantly. Which, like in the sequels, you would have a couple seconds to get out of spikes. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, yeah. Mega Man 1 only. Uh, I think there's an exception with, like, ZX, because in ZX you can run into lava even with invulnerability and still die from it. But for the most part in the classic series, I think that only happened in 1. Yeah. Mega Man 1 was the starting point. There was a lot of things they had to kink out. They didn't have energy tanks, they had a score system, they had a whole bunch of unnecessary shit, you know. They, like, like like this crap, I don't have to fucking platform when I'm trying to get to the boss. 
You, you just... gotta remember, Mega Man 1 gave us bad box art Mega Man, so... <laughs> <laughs> That, that, that was your country, do fuck that one up. Don't blame that one on me. Our, our country got pretty decent artwork. Uh, excuse me? Mega Man 3 in Europe? No, Mega no. Failure. Mega Man 3 dude's got great box. What are you talking about? No. With, 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 uh, with a live action Wily with very cartoony <laughs> robot monsters? Horror like movie Wily? Horror <laughs> movie. He always looked like Watch His Fuck from Tekken. Hey Hachi, the main guy, oh, hey, the main, hey, the main Hachi. Guy. Yeah, hey Hachi, he looks like, hey Hachi's having a crossover with Mega Man. <laughs> the king of Iron Fist Tournament 3. <laughs> My favorite thing about Bomb Man is that, in the original game anyway, not Powered Up, not Wily Wars, but in the original NES version, he doesn't want to get near you at all, so you, like, you always want to run to where he is, because then he jumps out of the way like, eh, don't touch me! <laughs> <laughs> That's my pro tip for the first game. <laughs> Just go up to Bomb Man, he's afraid of you. Yeah. Why was I programmed to feel fear? Because <laughs> he doesn't want to explode within the trajectory of his bombs. Because he's ashamed he has a beak for a face. He's yeah, like why does duck, he look like he? a duck? He's like a duck my with a mohawk. My non-existent hands. I just love there's a thing in, there's a thing in like the Archie book, it's just like, so, what's that, what's up with your face? Do I have a beak? Do I have a mouth? What is it? What am I? Oh, <laughs> fucking no. God damn, I missed that book. Mm. Bye.